This is Kilo, and today I am going to be reviewing the Loctec Quickset Smart Key Decoder Tool. This is a must-have tool, in my opinion, for any locksmith to keep with them on their van, as this will save you a lot of time and headache when it comes to smart locks when you come across a rekey or a lockout where especially on a lockout where the client has lost their key or the key is inside of the home for any reason. And in the back of most locksmiths' minds, they worry about arriving to every single lockout because of smart locks. They are notoriously difficult to pick. You can probably find a few people on YouTube who have picked them. I don't know if you can find someone doing it in the field. A lot of times they are picking it on their desk. Uh, we've had, you know, apprentices practice on them in the shop. We basically would take a blank KW1 key and key it to that blank and kind of give them an idea of how to pick the lock and then progressively start to key it up to all twos, all threes, and so on and so forth, and then kind of mess around and, you know, key it up, you know, one through five, and then backwards again, just to kind of give them an idea of how it is to pick one of these locks. You can, you know, probably set it to whatever depths you want, practice on it, and be able to pick it open. But in the field, it is not that easy. You don't always have the right lighting. Sometimes it's raining or snowing. Sometimes it's blowing sand all over the place and your customer is usually breathing down your neck. So with all that said, this is basically a nightmare scenario for any locksmith to arrive to a smart lock for a lockout. This tool will take away every single fear you have of arriving to one as a lot of times when you call a locksmith, their first instinct is to just drill this lock. Unfortunately, a lot of locksmiths just see these and immediately start to drill them. I have honestly not had to drill a lock. I have always found a bypass or another way in that is usually non-destructive and to this point in my career, I have not had to drill a lock. I have been lucky to not have to do that. Some locksmiths will just use a, you know, homemade slide hammer tool to just pull these cylinders out. Um, most of the time, if you have a smart lock, they're going to ask you, they're going to tell you, you know, if they have a tool like this, they're, you know, going to tell you their price and then probably a little bit more because they have to use this guy and make their money back. So if they arrive with one of these, they are honestly respectable in my book. If the first tool out of a locksmith's van is a drill, that is a major red flag. Although I know that these are really, there's a very low chance they're going to be able to pick your lock. They should at least try and look around and try to see if there's another way in before they destroy your lock. <clears throat> with that said, we will go ahead and unbox this and I'll show you what's inside. We have all in one, we have our tool here. We will get to that in just a moment. I'll show you first. We have a card that is really your guide here to the size of the wafers in the lock one through six so when you put your key blank in with the camera it will show you ex you know exactly what you're looking at these are screenshots of each individual size so this is good to have it comes attached like this i didn't add anything to it it comes attached on this string with these spacers now these spacers are numbered four three two and one as your fifth wafer will basically just be this key inserted all of the way 
And you can use these if you want to, you do not have to, but this will tell you exactly where you're at. When you first start using this, you might want to use these just to get an idea because sometimes you will, you know, put this in and go all the way to the back and see one of these. And then as you pull it, you'll run into, you know, a blank spot and you might not know what you're looking at. This kind of takes away any guesswork. It's very simple to operate with or without the spacers. And here we have our tool. It has your LED brightness function, your on off power button that doubles as your camera snapshot button. So as you are decoding this, every time you place it in and you come across one wafer, you can just press this and it will save the snapshot to your phone so you don't have to mess with, you know, putting this in, saying, okay, this is a five. Okay, let me switch my wafer or my spacer. Okay, this one's a three. Let me switch my wafer and so on. So this is a really good function to have. So you can just head back to your van, go to your code machine, open your phone, just swipe over, you know, four, three, six. And it's really helpful. On the other side, we have our zoom in and out buttons. It comes pretty set almost perfectly, really. I haven't really had to mess with any functions yet. Uh, the brightness is great. It connects via Wi-Fi to a free downloadable app on your iPhone or Android device. It You do not need internet connection, so you don't have to worry about that. It connects to the its own Wi-Fi system here. On the back, we have a five volt charging port. It connects, if you have an Android, it just, you can plug in your Android charger. I have an iPhone, so I have a separate charger that it does come with. And I have it turned on already as I have hooked it up to my old iPhone here. We will try and get good lighting, no glare. There we are. So I will show you exactly how this works. Let me set this aside for just a moment and grab our smart lock that we will use for this example. I will place it, let's see, let me adjust my camera just a bit. There we go. So hopefully you will be able to see this pretty decently on my tiny iPhone 6s. So we will take off our magnetic cap from our tool and this you will see the little flashlight, the LED light. There is a tiny little mirror at the almost tip of the key. This is what helps us see what's inside of the lock. And there is a little camera built in right at the beginning of the key. So we will insert it all the way. Oops. Let's see here, move our string. We will insert this. Now, what we see, we will take our cheap little card here and we will see what we are looking at. It looks to me like a six. So we will go ahead and write down the number six. Find something here to write on. So our fifth cut is a six. So four, three, two, one. And these will be our order and these will be our depths. So from here, if you don't want to use the spacer, you could just slide it straight back until you come across your next wafer, or we can remove it all the way. We will take our number four spacer here. You will push your spacer very carefully over your cube link, and you will reinsert the key 
until it comes to a stop. We will look back at our cheat codes here. Let's move all of those spacers out of our way. And if you look, it's a flat wall, and that looks like a three to me. So six, three. So we will remove our tool. We will remove our number four spacer, take our number three spacer, repeat the process, place it onto our key, place the key back into our lock. And what we have here, we have, looks like a gap just at the bottom which looks like a four cut. So our number three space looks to me like a four cut. So, so far we have six, three, four. So we will remove our key, remove our number three spacer, attach our number two spacer, reinsert the key just like before, run through our process here. We will look at our cheat sheet here. To me, this one looks like a five cut. You can kind of wiggle your key around sometimes. I'm gonna guess that that one is a five cut. No, we're gonna say six. Let's say that's a six cut. Looking at this through the camera here. Looking at a camera through a camera. <laughs> so, our final cut, we will remove this spacer and we will find our number one spacer here. Insert him, reinsert our key and that looks like another four cut to me. So our cuts are four, six, four, three, six. Now I will go ahead and stop the video here and we will head to my service vehicle to cut the key on our code machine and we will come back and we will see how it works, see how accurate we were, see if it works first time. And I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here and we'll be right back. So we're out here at the code machine in the vehicle and we're going to cut our code of 46436. So four, six, It's really windy out here today. There we are. So from here, we'll go ahead and head back into the shop and I'll show you how this works. All right, I'm back in the shop and I have our key we cut of four, six, four, three, six. We will go ahead and insert him into the lock and test him out. He works perfectly. So, just to show you guys, definitely a time saver, definitely worth the high price tag. The Loctec Quick Set Smart Key Decoder is, in my opinion, a tool that should be on every locksmith vehicle in America and beyond. Um, it will definitely take away all of those fears of arriving to a lockout and seeing this little 
you know, marking here. Um, the locksmith will see that a mile away because it is kind of the locksmith boogeyman. Um, you know, you won't have to worry about, like, the, the one thing I notice, especially with newer locksmiths who, you know, the older locksmiths like to, you know, scare about lo uh, smart locks is, you know, they'll arrive on scene. I've went with them before to lockouts and they see it. Like they know they've, they've seen and they've heard the legends and they see this little divot here and they just immediately through their head. And like, I've never picked one of these. I don't know what to do. I've never, you know, had to open one. I don't know how to pick them. They can't be picked, blah, 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 you know? And you kind of just got to calm them down from their little mini panic attack. And this will save you, um, a lot of panic attacks. This will save your company a lot of panic attacks. Uh, it's honestly an amazing tool. You know, it's it's crazy to see how far technology goes uh, when it comes to locks. It's um, going to be your fastest method for dealing with lockouts and rekeys on smart locks. You won't even have to take the lock off of the door. Um, you can also use, I think the next, well, the next quickest method would be using a Lishy pick to decode them. It is a lot, it, it takes a lot more time and you've kind of got to go by feel and it's, you know, depending on, you know, if you've done the method or if you're just practicing it. It takes time to learn and, you know, you can, there is room for error on that. Um, aside from that, you would have to take all the locks off, use um, something like your quick set cradle tool, or if you don't have a cradle, you will have to remove the core. It's a very long process in the field, especially um, when you come into a house that's all smart locks. You have to basically disassemble the entire lock, the entire core, reset all of the wafers manually put them all back together, put that one, you know, rekey it, put it back in, put it together, put it back on the door, take the next one off. In these, you know, this tool right here, the Loctec will save you, you know, it could save you hours on a call. Um, this, you shouldn't even be there more than, you know, a couple of minutes if it's a lockout. If it's a rekey, again, this should only be a couple of minutes. Um, a lot of times if they lost their key or, you know, they just used to have them all keyed the one key, all you have to do is just use this to decode the doorknob and it should open all of them. If not, I mean, you only do this process again and you will make it, you know, the keys, key them all to one and save yourself a lot of time, make yourself a lot of money. So, for the price tag, just like with any locksmith tool or machine, you make back that money very quickly. So that is my review of the Loctec Quickset Smart Key Decoder. If this video helped you, feel free to leave a like, and as always, have a nice day.